हेलो एवरी वन सो इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस सम क्वेश्चन विच केम इन गेट एग्जामिनेशन आई एम टेकिंग वन मार्कर एज वेल एज टू मार्कर फ्रॉम द प्रीवियस ईयर एग्जामिनेशन नाउ सी द लास्ट ईयर इन गेट टू थाउजेंड सेवेंटीन देर वॉज नो क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम द ग्रुप थ्योरी सो डेफिनेटली एक्सपेक्ट अ टू मार्कर इन दिस गेट टू थाउजेंड एग्जामिनेशन सो स्टार्ट विद द क्वेश्चन द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज there is a molecule which has a two fold axis that means c2 okay we have c2 and a mirror plane perpendicular to that that means we have a sigma h plane the point group must have a now many of the people think that there is a mirror plane that means sigma h is there and they tick the c option but you have to understand that you have to go through the question first of all there is a c2 axis now we have a sigma h plane so this is equivalent to s2 axis there is a c2 axis and a perpendicular plane that means it is equal to the s2 and we all know that s2 is equivalent to i center of symmetry so b is the right answer i will tell you in just in just few minutes that how s2 is equivalent to i because this is also a gate question i will discuss after few minutes now see in the second option the second question there is a question that it says that a, we have a bf3 molecule this is b this is f f and this is f bf3 molecule and we have to tell what are the symmetry elements now see this question is very easy in the fourth option there is a i center of symmetry and by no means there is there is center of symmetry in this bf3 molecule so this is a wrong answer now come to the c part i just told you that in s2 this s2 is equivalent to i so again this molecule doesn't have center of symmetry so c is the wrong option now in option b we know that this bf3 there is a 1c3 passing from the boron atom and there are three c2s passing from this b and f boron and f atom so this is 1c2 and 1c2 is from this and 1c2 is from this so we have three c2 so and we have a one sigma h plane bisecting this f b f and f atom we can say it as a molecular plane also so there is a sigma h also now in option b because this this has a point group of d3 h so in option b there is sigma plane yes we have three sigma plane also but in the option a there is sigma v as well as sigma h so a is a right answer now come to the next question very good question now there is a s2 operation and we have to tell that these coordinates x y z will change to which of them now this will tell you that how s2 is equivalent to i now if i have a x y z so i am i am proving this relation if this is x y z now if i if i take a center of symmetry it will be become x is minus x y is minus y and z is minus z now i will prove that how s2 is equivalent to i so see so this is x y and z if we pass a c2 axis along z direction so z will remain as it is and x and y becomes negative minus x minus y and this is as it is and s2 means first of all we have to plane we have to pass c2 axis then sigma h plane perpendicular to this axis now pass the sigma h plane okay from x and y now see now see this z axis sorry for the disturbance now see this z axis we will get converted into minus z and since we are passing from x and y so these were remain un unaffected so this is x this is y minus x minus y and this will become minus z 
so this is also i operation that means s2 is equivalent to i so if we passed s2 that means it is equal to i so d is the right answer minus x minus y and minus z now come to the option this gate question now in this question we have to tell the point group of this molecule 